Welcome to Crosscom Labs. There's been a lot of speculation around what Apple has been planning in the area of augmented reality. Apple's own Tim Cook believes that augmented reality is a big idea akin to the smartphone, and we wholeheartedly agree. So we were very excited when Apple revealed at least some of their AR ambitions during their Worldwide Developer Conference this past June in the form of ARKit. ARKit is a software framework built into the upcoming iOS 11, and as such, it offers augmented reality functionality and capabilities to apps that are designed to make use of it. It allows for apps running on any recent iPhone, such as the iPhone 6S or even the iPhone SE, to recognize flat horizontal surfaces through the phone's camera and track the device's changing position and orientation relative to its surroundings. The following is an example we've built within our labs. This ARKit demo app is programmed to respond to the user's screen touches by generating 3D computer-generated spiders. And because the app has recognized the horizontal surface of the floor, we've programmed these 3D spiders to walk along the surface of the floor, thus creating the illusion that these spiders reside, or at the very least are interacting with, our actual world. Furthermore, you can see the perspective of these computer-generated spiders tracks the changing movement of the phone in a smooth, natural fashion so that the illusion is consistently maintained. Since ARKit uses common consumer-oriented hardware and is included in iOS 11, Apple's ARKit will soon be one of the largest AR platforms virtually overnight. And perhaps equally important, it signals Apple's commitment to what will likely become a whole new paradigm of spatial computing and reinforces what the filed patents have already told us, that Apple is making a significant investment in AR technology, which may result in future AR hardware that truly complements the ARKit software. Thanks for watching.